Have you ever wondered why your car battery still dies even though the alternator is working perfectly? Well, stick around because today we're diving into why your alternator alone might not be enough to keep your 12 volt battery fully charged. And in the end of the video, we'll show you some scientific data on how the lifetime of a battery is extended when charging with a battery charger rather than just using the alternator? Many drivers assume that as long as the engine is running, the alternator will handle all the battery charging needs. But that's not quite how it works. The alternator is primarily designed to maintain the battery state of charge and to power the car's electrical systems. It sends charge to the battery but this process is gradual and mainly keeps the battery topped off rather than fully recharging it from a low state. Here are a few things that affect the efficiency of an alternator charging a battery. Engine RPM. Alternators work best at higher RPMs. At idle or low speeds, the charging output is significantly reduced. Electrical load. On a modern vehicle, the alternator, when running, powers everything from headlights to infotainment systems and will meet all load demands, but is not designed to charge the battery to 100% and it has no absorption phase, which means you have to travel a long distance to achieve anywhere near 100% charge. Short trips. Frequent short trips, which is a modern phenomenon, doesn't give the alternator enough time to fully recharge the battery, especially if it was already low. The average distance traveled in the EU is 20 kilometers. In the UK, it's 12 kilometers. In start-stop vehicles, the battery management system will limit the battery to a maximum 80% state of charge to save fuel and not to risk overcharging. The problem is that the battery at 80% state of charge is very close to the point at which sulfation starts to occur. So every time you start the car from 80% state of charge, the condition of your battery will be worse and worse and worse. So why does your car battery need more than just the alternator? Let's break it down. Firstly, the alternator only charges your battery when you're driving and you often need to drive far in order to regain the charge that you lose from starting the vehicle. A smart battery charger is a must if your vehicle is standing still for long periods of time, or if you're only taking shorter trips. Secondly, even if your driving habits allow your alternator to fully charge the vehicle, that is not its main function, and some modern vehicles won't even allow it to do so. A battery charger is your safest bet to keep your battery in optimal condition, extending its lifetime by up to three times. And thirdly, if sulfation has been built up in your battery and thus your battery capacity has gone down, using a smart battery charger can actually bring the capacity back by desulfating the battery. Now, if you still think that difference between using a battery charger versus only the alternator is not that big, take a look at these numbers. To test how batteries age during use, a protocol called the Dynamic Charge Acceptance Test, or DCAT, simulates charge cycles including loss of charge from starting a vehicle and recharging from the alternator. In a test, two 95 amp hour AGM batteries after 18,000 cycles, one battery lost 37.7% of its capacity, the other lost 39.3%. However, when two identical batteries were charged by a CTEC charger every six hours instead of just resting, they only lost 4.6% and 8.4% of their capacity to the same 18,000 cycles. This shows that regularly charging your battery with a CTEC charger can significantly slow down aging and extend the battery's lifespan. So, there you have it. Now you know why using a CTEC battery charger 
is better than simply relying on the alternator. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.